Hi everyone, Julie here. Today I want to share with you the answer to a question I get asked all the time by my students, which is, should I or should I not use subtitles when I'm watching Netflix, YouTube, whatever, in my target language? My short answer is no, uh, because we do not get subtitles in real life. And so I think that relying on them too much is kind of fooling yourself into thinking that you understand spoken whatever language. Um, and when you get to have conversations with natives who are not super language aware and who will use a ton of slang, speak super fast, you will be completely lost and it can actually completely break your confidence or even, you know, break your motivation to learn. And so I think that getting that preparation on your own with no one judging you, with no pressure to actually understand is great. And so a little trick, personally, what I do is that when I watch something, say in Arabic, I will not use subtitles and I will pause and re rewind a little bit if I get lost and I will activate the subtitles for like 30 seconds. Just if I completely lose the story and I'm like, is going on, I will go back a little bit just so I understand kind of, and then I'll disactivate them again. Or another thing I do is that I rewatch stuff that I've already seen um, in my mother tongue or in English or whatever in the target language without subtitles. So I'm not so much uh, focusing on what they're saying, but rather how they're saying it. Um, and yeah, and I don't think you can learn a lot of vocabulary from watching Netflix, to be honest. I think it's more a matter of learning to recognize the words that you already know and catch as many words as you can in a sentence. And so if you set very, very low expectations for yourself, if you set the expectation of understanding or catching like five words in a whole episode, for example, you know, if you have this very low expectation, then it's very likely that you are going to, you know, do it. Whereas if you pressure yourself into understanding every single word with or without subtitles, it's going to be a very frustrating and not so nice experience. Um, so yeah, I really recommend to set your expectations super low, forget the subtitles and just enjoy listening to the language. Um, another thing, if you really, really, really want subtitles, then at least put them in the target language. That way it can help you a little bit to associate how people pronounce things and how they're spelled, like, you know, the writing with the speaking. Um, and so that can also be, you know, helpful. But overall, I don't think we need to use subtitles um, because we don't get them in real life. And so you really want to mimic a real life situation when you practice listening. Um, so that's it for today. I hope that was helpful. I hope this uh, will convince you to try and watch stuff without subtitles and not be, you know, too uh, sad if you don't understand everything, because that's okay. It's a process. It takes time. And the more you enjoy that process, the more you um, put yourself in real life situations without any pressure, the better. All right, that's it. See you soon. Bye.